Welcome to Zoo's family channel. Today we are discussing Python identifiers and keywords. Python identifiers and keywords are fundamental concepts in Python programming. An identifier is a user-defined name given to a variable, function, class, module, or any other object in Python. It is a combination of alphanumeric characters and underscores, but cannot start with a digit. Identifiers are case-sensitive, meaning that num, num, and num are three different identifiers in Python. On the other hand, keywords are reserved words in Python that have special meanings and cannot be used as identifiers. These words are part of the Python syntax and are used to define the structure and logic of the program. Examples of Python keywords include if, else, while, for, break, continue, class, def, return, and import, among others. Identifiers and keywords are important in Python programming because they provide a way of naming objects and defining their functions within a program. Identifiers help in making the code more readable, maintainable, and easy to understand. When a code contains well-defined identifiers and keywords, it becomes easier to debug, modify, and extend. In conclusion, understanding the concept of Python identifiers and keywords is essential for any programmer who wants to write efficient, robust, and maintainable Python code. By using meaningful and well-defined identifiers and avoiding the use of keywords as identifiers, Python programmers can make their code more readable, reliable, and less prone to errors. Python identifiers and keywords are essential elements of Python programming that are used to define and name variables, classes, methods, and other objects. Examples of Python identifiers and keywords are provided below. Python identifiers. Variable underscore name equals value. Here, variable underscore name is an identifier that holds the value, value. Class class name. Here, class name is an identifier used to define a class. Def function underscore name. Here, function underscore name is an identifier used to define a function. It is important to note that Python identifiers cannot use reserved keywords as names, as they are already built into Python. Examples of Python keywords include if, else, while, for, break, continue, class, def, return, and import, among others. 1. Python keywords. If x greater than y. While i less than n. For item in my underscore list. Def my underscore function. Class my class. Import numpy as np. In Python code, identifiers and keywords are used to define and name objects and structures within a program. For instance, identifiers are used to name variables, functions, and classes to make the code more readable and maintainable. On the other hand, keywords are used to define the syntax and structure of a Python program, such as loops, conditional statements, functions, and classes. By using well-defined identifiers and keywords, programmers can write efficient, robust, and maintainable Python code. Here's a simple Python program that uses identifiers and keywords. Hash define a function that adds two numbers. Def add underscore numbers, num1, num2. Result equals num1 plus num2 return result. Hash call the add underscore numbers function with two arguments and print the result x equals 5y equals 7. Sum equals add underscore numbers, x, y. Print, the sum of, x, and, y, is, sum. In this program, we define a function called add underscore numbers that takes two arguments, num1 and num2. Within the function, we define an identifier called result that holds the sum of the two numbers, which is returned by the function. We then use the print statement with the sum identifier to display the result of the function call. We also use Python keywords such as def, return, and print to define the structure and syntax of the program. The def keyword is used to define a function, return is used to return a value from a function, and print is used to display output on the screen. Overall, identifiers and keywords are essential elements of Python programming that are used to define, name, and structure objects and syntax within a program. By using well-defined identifiers and keywords, programmers can write efficient, robust, and maintainable Python code. If you have a specific Python program you would like to compile and run, you can follow these steps. Open a text editor and write your Python code. To start writing Python code in a text editor, you first need to choose a text editor of your preference. Some popular text editors for Python include Visual Studio Code, Sublime Text, Atom, and PyCharm. Once you have selected a text editor, you can create a new file and begin writing your Python code. 
To run your code in Visual Studio Code, for example, you can right-click anywhere in the editor and select Run Python File in Terminal, or you can use the terminal to navigate to the directory where your Python file is located and run it using the command python your underscore file underscore name dot py. It's important to save your Python code with the py extension. Save the file with a py extension. Open a terminal or command prompt and navigate to the directory where your Python file is saved. Press the Windows key plus R to open the run box. Type cmd and press enter to open the command prompt. Use the cd command to navigate to the directory where your Python file is saved. For example, if your Python file is saved in a folder called my underscore folder on your desktop, you would type cdc users your username desktop my underscore folder. Once you have navigated to the directory where your Python file is saved, you can run your Python program by typing python file underscore name dot py and pressing enter. Replace file underscore name with the actual name of your Python file. Alternatively, you can also navigate to the directory where your Python file is saved using the file explorer, then right click inside the directory and select open command window here or open PowerShell window here to open a terminal or command prompt in that directory. Type python filename.py and press enter to run the program. The output of the program will be displayed in the terminal or command prompt. If your program requires additional libraries or dependencies, you may need to install them before running the program. You can use a package manager like pip to install the necessary packages. In summary, Python identifiers are user-defined names given to variables, functions, classes, modules, and other programming elements. They must follow certain rules, such as starting with a letter or an underscore, and not using reserved keywords as names. On the other hand, Python keywords are predefined words that have special meanings to the compiler and cannot be used as identifiers. By understanding and using Python identifiers and keywords properly, you can write more efficient, readable, and error-free code. Therefore, I encourage you to practice using them in your own Python programs and explore their full potential. Remember to follow best practices, such as choosing meaningful and descriptive names, avoiding excessive use of abbreviations, and using comments to document your code. Happy coding! Video script by Godwell Manyangadze.